uncover the hidden world of political campaigns in just five minutes. Join me, your host, David Washington, on Countertop Politics every Monday for exclusive campaign insights, tantalizing innuendo, and the secret sauce behind successful political campaigns. Don't miss out. Let's go. All right, all right, community. Hey, you know what time it is. It's Monday, and that means it's Countertop Politics with yours truly, David Washington. Of course, right around five minutes, maybe more or less, of the campaign insight, political innuendo, and the secret sauce of winning campaigns. And let me talk about this real quick. Um, I'm starting a 14, 15-day series, um, short content, short content, available only on our TikTok channel, our Facebook Shorts channel, and or is that Reels? I can't remember. I don't do this. I have Cedra taking care of this stuff. But Shorts, Reels, and TikTok. That is where you'll find the newest content, 14 or 15 days of real life battlefield correspondence from yours truly in the world of canvassing. And that's why I'm wearing my door-to-door new safety vests that our canvassers and our field staff wear because I'm going to be reporting from different aspects of the community about canvassing efforts and other get-out-the-vote efforts here in Central Florida during the election cycle of 2024 or what's remaining of it. So saying that, let's get to our program. Okay, everyone. So it's 14 days left, roughly two weeks before the election. Of course, vote by mail has already started for about two weeks now. And now today, at least in Florida, early voting has started. Okay, and so what that means is that there are designated polling locations throughout every county where voters can go and vote early. They can take their vote by mail ballot into this early voting polling station and give that to the poll worker. And they will give you a ballot to fill out at the polling station, you do your thing, and you're done. You vote it early, you get your little sticker that you voted, woohoo, and you're done. So as easy as one, two, three, a lot of these polling places are uh, conveniently located throughout the communities. They're, um, the times that they start and end varies, but typically around 7 o'clock uh, or around 8 o'clock uh, or even sometimes 9 o'clock, depending on the uh, supervisor of elections of your county, that's when it opens. But of course, go to your local supervisor of elections office online and find out the specifics as to the local closest local polling station for early voting for you and the hours of operation. Now saying that, okay, let me get some of this good coffee. Mm. Now saying that very quickly, we want to talk about early voting voters and going after those rejected ballots. There is information available from your state division of elections at least here in Florida, of those ballots that have already been turned in, that have been rejected. Your local supervisor of elections office should have that information. And you, as a campaign consultant, as a campaign, as a a, a candidate, your team, whoever is in charge of your data and your field operations, and of course your campaign manager, should be aware daily of those individuals who have, one, requested a vote-by-mail ballot, two, turned in their vote-by-mail ballot, three, either that ballot has been accepted 
or it's been rejected. Four, identify those voters who are likely to vote early. And more important than anything, your strategy, your plan, your plan to one, follow up with those vote by mail ballots that are still on people's countertops like mine right there. Follow up with those folks who plan to vote early based on past behavior and make sure that they are reminded to get in there as quickly as possible because you don't want to, you know, wait until the last minute like I do for professional purposes, of course. But, you know, anything can happen. You want to take that element of uh, uncertainty away from your constituency. Say, hey, encourage them to vote early for fear of having their ballot rejected for one reason or another, whether it's a signature, uh, whether there's missing information that is required, like the signature just doesn't match up or there's no signature on the envelope. Information like that, that needs to be cured or corrected by the voter. So right now, Campaigns should be doing several things. Importantly, knowing that folks have a ballot in their hand, you have to go after those folks. Number two, understanding that those folks who have turned in their ballots, they're done. Take them off your contact list. Take them off your target list. Take them off your get out the vote list. Those folks who still have their ballots, you identify them. Now, those folks who have turned them in and those ballots have been rejected, you need to keep track of that every day and have a plan, which I do, of how to go after those specific voters to cure or correct their ballot. Again, work with your local supervisor of elections to make sure that you have that information daily. And of course, of course, early voting. Make sure that you let your, the, your targeted voters who are or who are looking to vote early, make sure you let them know. Get out there. Don't wait for another hurricane or a snowstorm or earthquake. God, God forbid any of the, those things happen. However, taking out the element of uncertainty by encouraging people to vote early is key here. Then you'll know going into that Saturday, secret sauce, secret sauce, going into that Saturday before Election Day. If you understand the numbers correctly, you know, you will know by that Saturday before Election Day that you're in a good position to win your campaign. It's a science. It's all about numbers, data, stats so forth and so on. So again, as part of your months-long campaign plan, months-long strategy, we're getting to the end. And sometimes at the end is what makes the difference between, one, being sworn into office after November 5th, or sitting out and watching everyone do their thing. So I'm David Washington, and this is Countertop Politics. I appreciate everything that you do, watching, sharing our content. Please talk us up. I appreciate it. For those folks who see me, see me in the wild, in the field, especially as I take on this new project, check us out. Again, Reels, Shorts, TikTok, okay? You'll find us, you'll find me discussing field operations and the scope of early voting in these waning days of the election. The title of the series is called Battlefield Correspondent. So look for it, okay? Daily. So look for, you know, information about this to be out today, this morning. I did uh, a clip already. And, you know, also check out our wonderful podcast with Jimmy Afont from the margins with James Afont and David Washington. We are having a, a, a really good conversation, very good conversation, calling out the Democrats for what they are and what they're not. And, but of course, 
offering solutions because we're not going to bring up an issue unless we offer solutions. So time's running out here. It's way past the five minutes. However, thank you again. I appreciate it. Don't forget the David Washington Show coming out with some great stuff. I did another interview with our friend Stephanie Quinn Yu on Live Now from Fox. Compelling. I've gotten some uh, great commentary and I've already responded. And of course, do not forget our flagship podcast. You can't make this shit up. We got some great stuff coming up. Hey, a new interview with Heather Pierre Joseph, the chairwoman of the Democratic Haitian Caucus. Great conversation. And again, Representative Carolina Amacy. Well, we took a deep dive. We talked. So look for that soon. And of course, our friend and our employer, <laughs> County Commissioner, Orange County Commissioner, District 4, Maribel Gomez Cadero. Great interview we had at her office. She is phenomenal. So, you know, check that out. Again, this is Countertop Politics, and I am your host, David Washington. Look for us. Where is it? Right here, right here, right here. Door to door, I4. That's our canvassing sister company. Your canvassing digital and traditional needs met by us. Check us out. We'll see you soon. We're out.